Hello folks, Bob Warfield from CNC Cookbook here with another installment of GWizard University. Today we're going to go over the conversational CNC camphor wizard for lathes in our GWizard editor software. First off, what is conversational CNC and why would you use it? The idea is to make it quick and easy to produce G-code for simple tasks, quicker and easier than having to do a CAD drawing and run your CAM software. Instead, you just answer a few questions in the conversational wizard and it'll generate the code right away. Conversational CNC makes it super fast and easy to do simple parts just like you would manual machining. Let's take a look at the camphor wizard. To select the wizards, click the wizard button and you'll get a set of choices. You can either choose using the tabs along the top or choose from the pictorial menus. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, choose the camphor radius. Right, and so here's our camphor wizard. Now the idea behind these wizards is you're just going to go through left to right, top to bottom, and fill out the information in the blanks. And then when you're done, you click insert and it will generate the G-code to machine that feature on your part. So for example, the top bar is standard across the different lathe wizards. It has a work offset, uh, rapid to X and Y. Okay, so those are uh, telling it where it can feel confident about using rapids because it's not going to hit anything. Uh, your roughing tool, your finish tool, and whether to use coolant. Okay, uh, next you've got the different geometry features here. So uh, you've got the ability to select two angles. Uh, you get your camphor either going this way or the opposite way. Uh, you have the starting point and the ending point, although the camphor is always machined uh, from the larger X to the smaller X. And then X is really just your diameter of the workpiece where you're going to do the camphor. Okay, So pretty simple stuff. Let's give it a try. Alright, so we're going to go top to bottom, left to right, filling in the fields. And I'm just going to keep a lot of defaults uh, so we can go through the demo quickly you'll want to be sure when you do it to put in what actually matters for your part. So first of all, let's start with uh, Rapid X. Suppose I put uh, point 0.1 here and hit Enter. Okay, it's giving me some feedback. Rapid X must be greater than diameter uh, or radius if you're not in diameter mode in order for it to work because otherwise it's gonna it's gonna run the risk of rapiding down into the area where your part is. So let's just increase that. We've got a diameter of one I like to keep a tenth of an inch uh, between the uh, rapids and the part. All right, and I'm going to go 0 0.1 uh, for the Z because our Z start is zero, so I'm just going to add a tenth of an inch to that. We'll just keep the defaults on the rest of the stuff, the roughing depth of cut, the finish depth of cut, feeds and speeds and so on, and I'm going to keep the same defaults here uh, for the geometry. So let's hit insert and see what we get back. Right, so it immediately generates G-code, and there's a bunch of comments here, so you can tell what the heck it's doing. Uh, it, it records all of the different uh, parameters that you gave it, uh, generates all this G-code, you know, a safe start block, changing tools, setting up the speeds and feeds, roughing passes, finishing passes, and then a little bit of shutdown code here that'll go back to your uh, G28 position. Uh, uh, shut off the spindle and uh, shut off the coolant. The toolpath itself is very straightforward. We just come in and uh, we come down and we're going to just go around and around kind of like so right? until we get all the way through to the finish pass here for the camphor. So that's how it all works. Uh, as you can see camphoring is very simple and easy to do with the wizard. Thanks very much and we hope you'll give our camphor wizard a try. Uh, just check in to the 30-day uh, free trial of GWizard Editor. All of these conversational uh, CNC wizards uh, come with our GWizard G-Code Editor. Thanks again.